Are you looking for more Supermod content? Come join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Powercast Network. For just $5 a month, you can get access to YouTube ad-free shows, all Supermod updates, all Supermod spreadsheets. All of our shows are released early. There are bonus episodes and much more. Don't waste another minute, everybody. Head on over to patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Listen up, Supermod fans. Chicagoland Games Dice Dojo is the spot for tabletop gamers to enjoy their hobby through great products and even better events. Dice Dojo has the best variety of board games, RPGs, miniature games, and trading card games like Magic and Pokemon in the city. Check out their many events, including dozens of tournaments and their famous free board game night on Wednesdays. Check out their website at chicagolandgames.com or find them on Facebook at Chicago Land Games. Ladies and gentlemen, to the 1987 Supermod, I'm your host as always, Brad Drake, and this is the New Year series. That's right, all January long, it will be the World Wrestling Federation. So tonight, the WWF is in Oregon. We are at the Lane County Convention Center. That's right, this is an actual show that the WWF ran, and we are going to run it as close to real as possible. We are not going to have any broadcasters for this episode, so we got that set. I'd like to apologize to you up front if my voice sounds a little bit funny. I am battling a bad cold, everybody, but I still can't stay away from uh, the WWF, especially during this New Year series, all WWF, all month long. I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm having a blast playing this game. I'm just a little under the weather, and I apologize about my voice. All right, so this was actually, in real life, a six-match card. Now, we have so many talents that are under contract that I see no reason not to use all of them and make it an eight-match card. So that's exactly what we did. Where you see the asterisk is where we added matches, and we'll go over that here as we read the card. So let's head back to the main screen here. Let's check our absent workers, and it's nothing but the usuals, what we expect to be out. Backstage incident. All right, Tom Zink. (laughs) What's going on here? All right, he didn't pick up his share of the tab, and apparently locker room leader Bruno San Martino put him in his place. It's had a positive impact. Bret Hart, what kind of trouble could Bret Hart get into? He didn't join the rest of the locker room for a night out. I doubt it. Bruno San Martino straightened him out. And now we got Ken Patera and Al Navarro, and Al Navarro was taken as his protege. So good deal. Uh, a guy like Al Navarro is going to get a lot of experience, a lot of, uh, a lot of advice and experience from Ken Patera, who's been around since 1972. So he's 15 years he's been around, barring that year and a half he was in prison for beating the hell out of police officers in Wisconsin. But we could talk about that a whole other time. All right, let's go ahead and give our card a rundown here. In our opener, we're going to have Steve Lombardi versus Jerry Allen. The Islanders are going to face Demolition. Yes, this is a match that we have added. George the Animal Steel is going to mix it up with Dino Bravo. SD Jones will meet Killer Khan. I got George the Animal Steel and Dino Bravo booked twice here, everybody. So this much must have been a five match card all right so we can add something else there in its place we're gonna have the junkyard dog face harley race tito santana is gonna battle macho man randy savage in the semi-main and then our main event everybody we're gonna see that excellent match of the british bulldogs versus the heart foundation for the world tag team title all right what kind of change do we want to make here well, not a change, but what would like what would we like to add? 
Uh, we don't have Billy Jack Haynes on the card, and Billy Jack Haynes is Mr. Organ. So let's have Billy Jack Haynes versus Bob Orton. Yeah, that'll mix things up a little bit. Better yet, let's have, yeah, no, Bob Orton. Bob Orton and Billy Jack Haynes. That'll do it. And let's make that the longer match. There we go. So we got that one set now. Everything's all set for the card. We're looking good. So with that said, let's get to booking. Here we go. Lombardi versus Allen in the opener. They're going to go 10 minutes. This is enhancement versus enhancement. But it's how the WWF really had it. So that's the reason that we're going to run it. All right, here's Steve Lombardi. Here's Jerry Allen. Jerry Allen was a big dude. And was actually pretty talented in the ring. Um, he held a singles title. Yeah, and uh, he had some success in Memphis as Jerry Oski. And uh, he was not bad at all. He would actually tag with Danny Spivey in that tag team tournament held in Toronto. The Frank Tunney Senior Memorial Cup. So, Jerry Allen was not bad in the ring. And of course, we all know who Steve Lombardi is. Uh, Lombardi was very good in the ring for 30 years for the WWF. So here we go. This one is booked. We're going to leave it open-ended. Either one of them wins. That's perfectly cool with us. Up next here, we have the Islanders and Demolition, and they're going to go 12 minutes. Here's the Islanders. Here is Demolition. And we're going to call an audible here. And uh, S.D. Jones and Killer... No. Let's give them 14. And let's give Dog and Race 12. Okay, let's see how the Islanders have been doing. Um, the Islanders beat Demolition, or lost the Demolition the last time. Let's leave it open. Let, let the AI decide who wins. Really doesn't matter who wins this one. All right, up next here, we have George Steele and Dino Bravo. So here is Steele versus Bravo. It's another 12 minute bout here. Here is George the Animal Steele. Here is Dino Bravo. This one's all set, and we'll book it. We'll let the AI decide who's going to win that one. And next, we have Jones versus Khan. Hopefully, SD Jones has got the gas to go this long. And here is Killer Khan. And we're going to have Killer Khan get the win. Mr. Fuji's going to have several wrestlers on the show here. He's got Demolition, he's got Killer Khan, he's got Bob Orton Jr. Alright, next we have Junkyard Dog and Harley Race. And they're going to go 12. Alright, and Harley Race has been doing a lot of losing lately for Hulk Hogan. So we are going to have Harley Race get the win here. It's not going to hurt Junkyard Dog at all. And Harley Race is going to get the win here with the help of Bobby the Brain Heenan. So there we go. That keeps that feud going. And Harley Race is probably going to get a little tired after this one. Next, we have Orton versus Savage. And they're booked to go... 16. Not Orton versus Savage. Orton versus Haynes, everybody. So here is Bob Orton Jr. And here is the hometown man, or home state man, Billy Jack Haynes. I think he was actually from Portland. We're going to give the win to Billy Jack Haynes in his home state here. It's only right. And next, 
We have Tito Santana with Randy Savage. And these two actually wrestled quite a bit around the circuit. I still haven't received Tito Santana's book. I'm looking forward to it very much. I, uh, when I get wrestlers' books, I will go right through them very quickly because I just find this era of wrestling so interesting and so fascinating. We're going to have the Macho Man get the win here, everybody. And our main event, and it's a big main event here. We're going to have him go 30 because we can. We're going to have the British Bulldogs and the Hart Foundation once again. And we're going to auto-name this one. We'll put the C in to designate the title holders. And it's not the women's tag team title, that's for sure. All right, we are going to have Bret Hart get the win here. And it's going to come tainted. So a dirty finish for the main event. That'll have the crowd angry. We're at just over two hours here two hours and 20 minutes that's an excellent time for a house show and we're going to go ahead and get started and see how this one goes all right here we go lombardi and allen and steve lombardi gets the win with a reverse neck breaker one of the few times in his career he would get the win <laughs> all right of course there was red text the doom there but that's expected and the islanders and demolition demolition gets the win over the islanders here and we get a 79 overall for this one. Outstanding scores for Demolition. Lots of green. And green in TEW means money. Tom is holding us back here. And it's all popularity because he's got the skill set. That's all right. He'll get there. All right, up next, George Steele and Dino Bravo. And Dino Bravo gets the win with that side suplex he used. A little bit of red, a little bit of green. Neutralizes everything out. 71 overall. 81 and 69 Somehow gets us a 71, according to TEW. What are you going to do? We sold this place out with 9,000. That's a good sign. And here we go. Killer Khan and SD Jones. Killer Khan blows that mist and gets the win over SD Jones. 55 overall. I didn't expect anything more of that. Here we go. Junkyard Dog and Harley Race get an excellent score. Junkyard Dog is over everybody in the Northwest. That's what I'm seeing going on here. And, uh, Harley Race gets the win with that pile driver due to the interference of his manager. Good score. Excellent. Up next, we got Bob Orton and Billy Jack Haynes. Billy Jack Haynes magically only gets a 78 in his own home state where he's mega over. It's a little strange, but an 81 overall. And Bob Orton, of course, does the favor here. And you know he doesn't mind. Bob Orton was... Uh, one heck of a ring technician and could make anybody look good. The only takeaway here is inconsistency. Fair enough. All right, up next, Tito Santana and Randy Savage get a real nice 87 here. Good stuff. We have a little bit of red, a little bit of green, but we get that every match. Savage, of course, wins with the flying elbow drop. Let's see if there's anything. Nah. Uh-oh, we got a road agent, Nick DiCarlo. Even though it certainly doesn't hurt anything, we don't need him to be a road agent. He doesn't. We don't need to have an extra payday for no reason. We already have people on the roster for that. Let's see how our main event did here. Hopefully it should be a big score. And it is. 99 overall. Excellent. Bret Hart gets the win with that sharpshooter, even though he wasn't using it at this point. And uh, there we go. Excellent score. Excellent main event. These two teams continue to put on outstanding matches. Now, we know that we're not seeing the Dynamite Kid that we saw in years past, but the man still has it in the game. Good stuff. Excellent. Yeah! Let's see what our final score is. 96 outstanding. And we get a gain of one in the region. Terrific. All right, Dynamite Kid is definitely getting pointed out. And then we're going to point out Bret Hart. And we're going to point out Jim Neidhart. Nothing against Davey Boy. I just can't point out four. Great performance. Great performance. Great performance. 
We're going to make that speech. Dynamite Kid's pleased. Bret Hart's pleased. And Jim the Anvil Neidhart is pleased. Good stuff. All right, this puts us moving along here to tour date number 101. Um, that should be tomorrow in the game, but we'll have to check the book there to see if one of our many television tapings doesn't get in the way here. But uh, we'll, we'll check that out. And this one is not a real card. This is one that we put together ourselves, hence the C. We're probably going to move away from that and, and keep realistic cards and just plug in where we have to. All right, we are back at our main screen here, everybody. And Jack Briscoe is doing some booking here. Good for him. All right, yeah, 101 is due for tonight. So we got our... No, that's, that's correct. Yeah, 101 is correct. Good. All right, let's take a look here at our incoming. Tatino has quit All Japan Women. Fair enough. Blackjack Lanza likes Demolition Smash. So do I. He's very good. I agree. Scott Casey's continuing on with Continental. Fair enough. He's still going to drop matches for us. And here we go. We got Sherry Martell. Good stuff. All right. Got a pretty good women's division going here, everybody. Even though we don't use them too often, it's good to have them. Now, I got to double check here. But I think that Sherry Martell originally came in as a face and took the title off of Fabulous Moolah and then became a heel because at the Survivor Series team, Fabulous Moolah was on the face team and Sherry Martell was on the heel team. I'll have to do some research into it and uh, we'll take it from there. But uh, yeah, they ended up on opposite sides and Moolah ended up a baby face. So we'll have to double check. All right, that AWA, CWA, WCWA alliance is doing its thing here. And McDaniel's going to do some work with the CWA. Uh, let's check worldwide wrestling here. And this is spot on. Oh, well, we got some serious matches. And then we have some mixed matches here with uh, obviously Dusty Rhodes winning an enhancement match. Uh oh, Ron, Ron Garvin and Barry Windham have gotten into it. They're the U.S. tag champs. What's going on here? Glad to see that that's fixed. What the live event do? There it is. There it is, Mike Graham. Mike Graham is right up there all over again. You know, I double-checked him in the editor, and he's really nothing special. And uh, actually, when version 10 comes out, Mike Graham wasn't even with Jim Crockett Promotions at that point, so that'll be updated. So you won't have to see Mike Graham with uh, Jim Crockett Promotions. Tully Blanchard over Jimmy Garvin. Good stuff. Nikita Koloff, Bubba Rogers. It's a good card. Good stuff. Got that fixed in this save. It's good stuff. All right, that's going to do it for us here, everybody. For those of you that are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop a message. Drop us a message below. Let us know how you found the channel. For those of you looking for us on social media, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 supermod. You can also find us over on Reddit under the subreddit of TEW2020. Friends. Version 10 of the Supermod, everybody, is available on Patreon, patreon.com slash powercast network. I will release it to everybody else at some point, but for now, it is only available to our Patreon members. Consider becoming a Patreon member. It's only $5, and as we went through at the beginning of this show, you have access to a whole lot of good stuff. It's just $5, everybody. Consider it. Uh, for those of you that want version 9, you can head on over to braddrake.net, and it's available under the Supermod link. All right, that's going to do it for us, everybody. We'll be back in action tomorrow with tour date number 101. Take care now. <laughs>